If you're working on one of these Ford F transmissions, I just recently replaced this one here, or if you replace the valve body, it's required to reprogram the solenoid strategy. How I do this is I use a software by the name of Forescan. It's only $12 for a one year subscription. And also this OBD link, this is what's gonna to connect to the computer in your car there. And this is readily available on Amazon for around $59. So around $75 or so, you're very easily able to do this first taking it to the dealer. So let me show you how you can do this on this 2014 Ford Escape. Before we get started, the most important thing you need to make sure is if you get a used transmission that this solenoid strategy sticker is on here because at the end, we're going to need to reprogram that strategy with the vehicle. The transmission we had out has a different strategy, so we need to make sure that sticker's there because if it's not, you're not going to be able to get this thing installed correctly. All right, so after we have our Forescan software installed on our just regular Windows laptop is what I'm using, you're going to plug your OBD connection in on the vehicle, then put the other USB site into our computer. Then we're going to go ahead and hit connect to vehicle. And one other note here, just make sure before you do this that you are connected to Wi-Fi as well, because we will need this later in the process in order to download that solenoid body ID. And after the vehicle is connected, first thing we'll do here is we'll clear the transmission adaptive strategy. So just click on the service wrench on the side over here and click the first one there and it's going to be clear transmission adaptive tables and hit run at the bottom of the screen. And you'll get a pop up saying this function will clear the transmission adaptive tables. Just hit OK. And after that's done, you'll see that it says completed successfully. So then we'll move on to configuration and programming icon. It looks like that PCU processor over there on the left hand side. Then we're going to select transmission characterization update and then hit run at the bottom. Then this will give us a warning here, just explaining the process. Just hit OK. Then we'll get another pop up and we'll just say select update by strategy number and hit OK. Then you'll get another box here showing the current strategy number and a box to enter the new one. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned about that strategy number that's on the transmission. You're going to take that strategy number off of that new one that you installed and you're going to input it here and you're going to hit OK. And you'll get another pop up saying the file is not found. It's going to ask you if you want to download it. Just say yes. Then you'll get a message saying it was successfully downloaded. Just hit OK. Then if you go back and you compare your old and the new, you're going to see that it did program the new solenoid strategy ID and it also downloaded the body ID. Just double check those two numbers there that are on your sticker, match the two numbers here. And if they do, then you completed updating the strategy number there. And after you're done with that, just hit exit. And if you have any service engine codes, you want to just go ahead and erase them as well. If not, you can go ahead and exit the software. Then the last thing we need to do is just relearn the adaptive tables by driving the vehicle. All you need to do from a stop drive all the way to high gear slowly, then decelerate all the way down to stop. And you're gonna to wanna to do this roughly around 10 times or so, then the transmission will automatically update those tables for you. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching.